Okay, hello and good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to JFD Traders Espresso with me, Darius Lundschaus, because today's the 31st of March 2020. So, yep, guys, welcome everyone. Welcome to this last trading day for March. Um, welcome to this uh, morning's recorded session. Um, as always, guys, before we jump in, uh, we'll have to quickly read through our um, risk disclaimers. So, the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, it should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. As always, a few seconds for you to read the rest, and we can continue. Okay, so now then, um, just before we jump in, uh, as always, a uh, quick mentioning of our JFD uh, YouTube channel, to which you can always subscribe to in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos. Um, and of course, our JFD Bank website and specifically our JFD research page, which we update as well on a daily basis. So feel free to visit us here on jfdbank.com and click on the research tab right there on the top and it'll take you to this page, which we, um, as I said, update um, on a daily basis. So yep, I believe you can find something useful here. Um, now then, uh, as always, uh, as it became a little ritual now, for now, I hope for now, um, we will quickly update the figure. We'll see what's happening. So since um, since yesterday, the, the, the figure that you saw previously, 735, was um, in when I was looking at uh, this one during uh, Trader's uh, tea time. Um, as you can see, the, yep, the, the, the spread continues. Um, US is leading the way and we can see that Italy has surpassed the 100,000 uh, number and uh, well, I mean, and of course it increased in, in the amount of deaths. So basically we can say for sure that this, well, this is uh, still an issue. Um, now, um, with the US here, um, looking at this picture, uh, you can see that the amount of deaths has quickly has doubled. Um, and uh, well, I mean, it's not looking good there in, as well. So I hope I hope uh, everybody's being reasonable and taking precautions. So yep, um, uh, for now, guys, it's better to protect yourself and uh, stay away from, from, from everything uh, just to be on the safe side. Um, <clears throat> right now then uh, let's jump into the charts quickly um, so the first one I want to touch on here is the FTSE 100 um, now how oh, sorry the, the FTSE 100 the no the Nikkei 225 there we go this uh, it became uh, a standard that we always have a look at the FTSE and the DAX but um, this one this time I wanted to have a look at something different um, so basically the Nikkei um, now it just a few minutes ago it was still in the um, in the positive territory but as, as you can see now the uh, index is kind of uh, basically have, has fallen slightly in the red um, it's more I would say um, it's more flat I would say so um, but what I really wanted to point out here is after we had this uh, strong drop here and after the index found support around here around the 16 uh, three uh, 16,358 zone roughly around there it rebounded and traveled higher and managed to overcome and kind of still remains above this key area of, of well previously was resistance now it's support this lowest point of two, uh, 2018 and uh, that's basically roughly around the uh, 18,950 territory. So um, the index continues to trade above that. But what I wanted to show you here as well is that, uh, especially clearly visible on the four hour chart, we do have ourselves a, a nice bullish flag pattern. So here, or some could say maybe it's a pen, more of a pennant, but nevertheless, it's a more of a bullish one. However, um, of course, uh, for now, um, uh, well, according to all the uh, TA rules, uh, um, these patterns tend to break to the to the upside. Um, so let's see if something like that could happen. 
now uh, we will but in order to kind of um, aim for higher levels we would still like to see a nice good push above the 19,565 territory here and then we could aim for higher levels for now um, yes we will uh, stay cautious and and probably a little bit more on the neutral side um, and uh, wait for a breakthrough one of those levels now uh, in terms of the downside here we would like to see a drop below the 18,000 uh, 512 territory roughly around here and uh, yep then we could aim for a further directional move for now guys uh, yes on one hand we do have ourselves a nice uh, bullish uh, flag or pennant uh, whatever you want to call it um, well probably more of it. it's more of a pennant here uh, but still nevertheless a bullish pennant um, however in order to get comfortable with higher levels we need to see a push above this barrier right here the 19 uh, 19,565 territory roughly around there guys and then we could aim for uh, some higher levels of course uh, one of one of the levels to consider is going to be this one around the 19,974 75 zone um, and uh, slightly above that we do have the this little territory here which also could be an interesting one to keep an eye on that's the 20,110 zone and that's basically the uh, the lowest point of August uh, 2019 so again uh, I do understand that it's not a huge move here but to be honest uh, in general uh, in general the whole index is kind of still on the bearish side so we are although we are uh, forming something here but we are below all these EMAs the important EMAs the 100 the uh, the 200 here on the four hour chart so in a way it still could travel higher but get a hold up somewhere here maybe even next to this little uh, level uh, around the uh, 20,834 zone and then reverse back to the downside so long story short um, in order for us to um, let's say get comfortable with slightly higher levels wait for a push above this one and if we do get up uh, above this level here around the 19,564 uh, 60, uh, 65 zone so and if we do get um, a nice push here then uh, yep we'll still be very careful with the upside because um, for now overall we're more bearish than bullish um, jumping into DAX here very quickly so looking at this four hour chart and let me just quickly jump back into a daily now here we do have a little mess um, and uh, yes it is kind of trading uh, below this downside or actually it's already breaking this it broke yesterday this downside line um, by the way looking at the cash index uh, right now uh, let's quickly have a look at that one where the price is right now. Um, so yes, so the the price is just basically around the 9,840 zone. So basically just um, slightly above where it closed yesterday. However, uh, jumping into a four-hour chart, probably this one is going to be a little bit better. It still remains below this territory right here. Um, in other words, below that um, psychological 10,000 zone. So um, it, we, I do have this 9,985 territory, but uh, we could round it up probably towards that psychological 10,000 zone. And in a way, what we're going to do here is... Um, we're going to keep an eye on it and if we do get a nice push above it then yes we will aim for some higher levels uh, however as I've mentioned previously in my videos um, I was talking about the 10,280 zone uh, which in a way also remains an important one for us to watch because that's the lowest point of 2018 and um, in order to get a little bit more comfortable with higher levels we would need to see a nice good push above that zone however like I said given that the um, the index has been kind of um, trading near that psychological 10,000 territory. So in a way, we actually could drag this one, uh, this highlighted area here uh, to this area, to the 10,000 zone. And if we do get a nice break above this, and what we would be looking for here as well would be something like a, at least a four-hour candle close above this territory, above this uh, 10,000 zone. And if we see something like that, then yes, we will aim for some higher levels. We'll aim for that 10,280. 80 zone a break of which could make us a little bit even more even more comfortable with higher levels and still as the same story as with uh, Nikkei uh, the bull should still not get their hopes up too much uh, because in a way 
well we're still uh, very uh, a little bit on the bearish side here and uh, yeah uh, like I mean we could see a bit of a, uh, a move higher here but uh, this move higher could still be seen as a temporary correction before another leg of of, um, of selling so yep guys for now keep your eyes on this um, in terms of the downside the still is still the same um, still the same kind of scenario remains <clears throat> we need to see a drop below the 9141 zone and then we could aim for lower levels okay guys so um now then very quickly on wti oil um, so here, uh, let me just jump back into a daily chart. Uh, we had a nice rebound. So we had a nice, first of all, we had a nice drop below that uh, psychological 20 zone. But as you can see, the uh, the commodity didn't really close below that territory. So we are seeing a bit of a correction here this morning. Um, however, still for us to get excited about uh, maybe some higher levels, uh, higher, a larger correction to the upside, we would need to see a push above the 26.08 level and then we could aim for the upside. Now, the reason why it's 26.08 because that's the lowest point of 2016. So yeah, guys, so for now basically keep your eyes on this one uh keep your eyes on this uh, this area um and uh again it's it's really difficult i'll stick to the same rule it'll stick to the same idea because there's not much to talk about here yet um basically um for now this all this territory here will be somewhat of a neutral one for us but if it starts falling and if we see a daily close below that psychological 20 zone then yes we will aim for further declines for now we didn't see that we only saw a break and as you can see now it's a little, uh, recovering a little bit um, but even with the upside here um, it still could be tricky because if you're thinking that uh, from here now because it's quite overstretched here oversold um, from from here we'll start climbing only higher um, don't get me wrong that could be a possibility but we try to um, kind of let's say be safe than sorry and uh, we try to protect ourselves so that's why we will be considering some higher levels only after uh, a, a nice good push above the 26.08 level for now all this surgery for us will be somewhat of a neutral one um, silver um, so, so with silver here, I looked at this one uh, recently, well, not recent, quite recently, but last week, in the beginning of the week. Um, basically here, after uh, the commodity, the precious metal broke below this upside support line taken from the low of the 14th of November uh, 2018, uh the, the the precious metal drifted lower tested the area around the 11.64 zone from which it rebounded and uh, climbed back up here um now it struggles it's still struggling to overcome this uh this upside line to, in a way to get back above it and also you can see that we do have ourselves a nice downside resistance line here taken from the high of the 24th of february um in a way we did get a bit of a correction yesterday um, in, and uh, to be honest, um, we could see a bit of a, uh, a, a correction lower, I'm saying, uh, but we could see a bit of a, a move higher again here. Um, as, but if it struggles to overcome this territory, then yep, uh, another round of selling could be possible. So in other words, guys, for now, this is um, at a very interesting and tricky spot. Uh, you can see the level here, the 13.65 zone that I've got marked. That's basically the lowest point of 2015. So uh, we're keeping a close eye on this one. If by any chance this starts dropping back below the territory, then well, uh, deeper extensions to the downside could be possible again so that's why we're keeping close eye on this level here the 13.65 uh, if as i said if we see a drop below it and we see a daily close below this then yep we will aim for some lower levels if by any chance this climbs higher and breaks above the this upside support line breaks this downside line then yep this is where it could become more interesting for the buyers but for now for now, it's a little bit, uh, I would say, uh, tricky. So don't try to maybe um, 
improvise here too much. Um, again, uh, like I said, uh, be very careful. And another thing, don't forget that we are in, this is the last trading day for this month. Um, so, um, yep, uh, we'll see. Maybe we could some we could get some big squ swings. Um, so yeah, let's 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 see how it plays out uh, today. But uh, yeah, guys, be very careful. And uh, what you could do here is, of course, as I said, keep your eyes on the 13.65 zone because if by any chance this starts dropping and closes the today closes today below the 13.65 uh, zone, um, as I've mentioned previously, yes, there could be more chances for this one to drift lower. But basically, this would mean that the monthly candle has stayed below that territory. Um, and yep, this is where it in could increase uh, a, f a further decline uh, to the downside. So yep, that's why guys, uh, be very careful and keep your eyes today on that area. Um, now jumping back into a daily chart and jumping into a few pairs. So AUDCHF, um, here the situation is quite interesting. I've looked at this one recently and uh, basically yeah, it was what I was talking about to keep an eye on this little kind of short term tentative downside line taken from the high of the 19th of February. Um, you can see that the uh, the pair the pair is kind of right now uh, flirting with this downside line um, although we did get a bit of an overshoot here still that doesn't mean anything to be honest for now because for us to get excited about higher levels ideally we would like to see a push above this barrier here the 0 0.60 uh, 16 zone and then yep we could aim for higher levels now some would say maybe uh, you could be looking at this area here you could uh, this 0 0.5949 zone uh, marked by the high of the 25th of March yes of course you could do that and by all means uh, keep your eyes on this one but uh, just for that extra confirmation a push above this barrier could uh, do the trick here for more buyers and we could maybe see a larger uh, correction to the upside here towards this uh, downside line for now um, for those who are more on the risky side yes keep your eyes on this barrier if we get on this barrier right here the 0 0.5949 if you, we see a nice four hour candle close above this uh, then yes we will aim for the uh, this area here the 0 0.6016 that I talked about but if that gets break then well I mean uh, yep this is where we'll get a little bit more comfortable with uh, further upside so yep keep your eyes on this one guys um, now then, uh, NZDJPY is something that I looked at yesterday in my trader's tea time and basically I was, I was trying to tell show you this a little uh, pattern forming here, especially visible nicely on the one hour chart. And what I was saying that um, this triangle here, uh, the symmetrical triangle, <clears throat> we need to see a break of one of these sides and a break through one of these levels as well. So not only that we needed to see a break of this, one of these sides, we also needed a break uh, through one of our key important support and resistance levels. Now, as you can see, it broke the upper side of the triangle, but um, didn't quite uh, actually overcome the uh, this barrier here and also clearly visible on a four hour chart. So this barrier here, the 65.46, so continued to hold. Uh, the pair did try to uh, break above it, but stayed below it. And now it's kind of back inside this triangle. So in a way, that's what we're going to keep an eye on. Um, again, uh, probably some could even actually draw here not a uh, symmetrical triangle here and let me just quickly correct this a little bit um, somebody could also see um, a potential as uh, ascending triangle here now with a little uh, slight slope here um, to the upside but uh, yes uh, something like this could be possible as well and uh, for now if this uh, this upper side of the symmetrical triangle continues to hold, because this is where you can see that the um, uh, the the pair is currently balancing at, so then yep, we could see a bit of a decline here and towards this lower side of the well actually both symmetrical and the ascending triangles and uh, uh, here this the big question here is will this uh, could this break this upside upside line um, and if it could can it then drift below the 64.46 zone because that's the more comfortable level for us because at the same time if we see a drop below this level here the um, the pair would be also below the, its 200 EMA on the one hour chart here um, so yep maybe more uh, sellers could see this is an opportunity to step in. Um, again, for now guys, 
uh, we are, like I said, keeping eye on this barrier here, the 65.46. Um, that's the more important one for us right now. Um, yes, of course, we, given that the pair drifted back down and is now currently balancing below this downside line, uh, we will keep an eye on the upper side of the um, the symmetrical triangle. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, for now, it's still neutral. We're still waiting for that clear break. Um, we need that clear break either through this territory or through this one right here. So yeah, guys, for now, keep your eyes on this. Uh, USD CAD. Now for this one, let me just jump back into a four hour chart. Um, I spoke about USD CAD recently and basically what I was talking about was about this territory here. What I was saying that if we get a nice good push back above the 1.4162 uh, territory here, then yes, there could be a possibility for this one to drift higher. We got a nice four hour candle close above this zone and uh, in a way, um, well, to be honest, now it increases the chances of a potential uh, drift higher here. Uh, however, let's not forget that we are still below this downside line taken from the high of the 19th of March so any kind of move uh, higher could still be seen as a temporary correction before another leg of selling so basically something like this could be possible um, if by any chance this decides to reverse earlier to the downside here and drifts lower uh, still the pro for us now at looking at this picture uh, the more comfortable level for us uh, after which we could consider lower levels is the 1.3986 zone and uh, we would like to see a nice good uh, four hour candle close below this territory because you can see that neither of the four hour candles managed to close below it but if we do see an eventually a four hour candle close below this then yep uh, we will get a little bit more comfortable with uh, further declines uh, gbp usd quick mentioning here and for this one let me just jump into a daily chart i talked about uh, yesterday uh, about this idea um initially in the in my morning video i talked about a potential move higher but as you can see it didn't kind of really work out so um yep uh, this one's bad on uh, this one's uh, on me um, so basically, um, it drifted a little bit lower here, um, and uh, for now, to be honest, given that it's the end of the month, um, we'll just pr we'll no, we're not going to do anything on this one. We're just going to sit back, relax, and just continue watching what it's going to do and where it's going to close uh, the month. Um, now, previously, uh, I was talking about this area here and uh, uh, this 1.1950 zone which is the lowest point of 2016 and uh, if we would somehow get a strong drop back below this territory then yes uh, we we well this could look bad for for the pair however um, in a way we could see a bit more declines here we could see a test maybe of this 1.2195 zone and if this 1.95 uh, 1.2195 zone uh, continues to hold this is where the nice rebound could come in and we could see a nice maybe also something like a flag here and then a nice push higher um, in other words uh, if we get a push above this high the the current high of this week uh, above the 1.2485 zone then yes we will aim for some higher levels uh, for now we'll we'll remain a little bit probably on the neutral side and uh, yeah, we'll wait. We'll, we we want to see how this is going to end the month. Um, and finally, Euro USD here. The situation is um, a little bit interesting because um, so. Uh, this is what I talked about yesterday. Um, basically, we get we got our drop below the 1.1087 zone. So this is what I talked about in the morning in my in my espresso video. Um, and what I was saying that if we get a nice drop below this and we see a four-hour candle close below this, then yep, this increases the chances of a further drift lower. Um, now here, um, what I was saying as well that we may get a hold up near the uh, near all of these EMAs. And so look look at this perfect. Uh, perfect kind of support area here the 200 ema the 21 the the 100 ema so all these kind of are currently uh providing good support um and uh, in a way what i was saying that as long as it remains above this and especially above this upside line then yes we will continue maybe um, uh, being a little bit more positive than negative however uh as i've showed you with usd cad i mean maybe 
USD CAD could climb a little bit higher then if so then we could see a break of this upside line um, but in order for us to get comfortable with slightly lower levels guys we would need to see a drop below the 1.0952 territory somewhere around here marked by the low of the 27th of March and then yes this would confirm a forthcoming lower low and further declines could be possible so that's why for now guys this is a very very tricky spot we are at the end of the month uh, don't try to kind of over uh, predict this uh, just probably wait this one out and uh, just let's see how this is gonna end and let's uh, let's put it that way attack uh, let's put it uh, let's attack it um, next month uh, which is tomorrow um, so um, yes, uh, basically long story short guys, uh, we are keeping close eye on this little territory here if it continues to hold. For those who are more on the cautious side, what you could do here is which you could just wait until we get a push back above the 1.1087 zone and then yes, we will aim, uh, for, we'll try to aim for some higher levels. I mean, for those who are very, very cautious, you could just wait for a break above the current, um, current high of this, of this week or sorry, the current high of last week. And um, then, yes, uh, this would confirm a forthcoming higher high and, uh, well, higher levels could be met. So in other words, uh, this level here, for those who are very, very cautious, uh, could play out nicely. Now I have a double arrow here, but um, let's get rid of it. So uh, this is the area that, you know, to consider and uh, after which we could uh, aim for some higher levels. Uh, we could start looking at higher levels after this level, after 1.1087, but still we'll remain a little bit more on the cautious side. Uh, but uh, if we get a push above this, uh, the high of last week, uh, around the, and actually, let me just quickly uh, double check this guys there we go um, is this correct here um, yes yeah, so roughly around the 1.1144 uh, zone so that's what we're going to be looking at and uh, yep if we do get a nice push above this then yes uh, we will aim for some upside but again for now uh, it's a very tricky day today uh, let's see let's be very careful and cautious because again don't get me wrong we could suddenly break this upside line and drift below the 1.0952 and uh, if if we, if so then uh, well f uh, deeper extensions to the downside could be possible okay guys I really hope you found it useful and just to quickly mention that um, tomorrow uh, there won't be any uh, video there won't be any uh, traders espresso nor tea time we will resume on uh, we'll resume on Thursday and uh, yep guys so uh, don't look for uh, for the don't search for the videos uh, for tomorrow because, like I said, there uh, there won't be any. Uh, but as I said, yeah, we will resume on uh, on Thursday and uh, yeah, case. So, uh, but in general, we will uh, I will catch my video today, the f uh, thirteen fifteen G well after thirteen fifteen GMT time, uh, my traders tea time, uh, GMT. Well, well, there we go. This is GMT tea time. There we go. So, thirteen fifty after thirteen fifteen GMT. Catch my tea time, uh, and uh, yeah, guys. Uh, I hope you have a safe trading day today. And uh, like I said, don't overtrade. It's the last day of the month, so be very careful. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. And thank you very much for watching and listening. Bye bye.